Hi there Libra, how are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome back to the channel. It's me Anissa from The Inner Stereo. This is going to be your love general messages. It's a general reading so the rules might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for a personal reading with me, okay? So in this reading, Libra, it's going to be a you versus them format. I'm going to be pulling card about who is it that we're going to be talking about today and what their current energy is like. Your challenges, past, present, future from both parties, and we're going to clarify them. And I am also going to be pulling some advice card for you by the end of the session, okay? One more time. Libra, 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 okay. <clears throat> Their current energy in this present moment, they have the Three of Wands, the Six of Wands, and also the Queen of Swords in upright position. This person right now is standing at something, and they're standing on it very stubbornly. I feel that this person is going to... I think you guys are at a standstill, you know what I mean? They think that their point of view, their way of doing, that they're in the right, and you also feel that you guys are in the right. It's pretty intense, the energy, because the way in which they're going to communicate or the way that they see the problem within this connection, they're looking at it from a place of like a little bit of a contempt. What I'm doing is right. Libra is wrong. I am the saint here. Libra is the villain. Okay, we're going to clarify. In the past, they have the king of pentacles and also the king of wands. From your side, you have the nine of swords and you also have the devil. I feel that this person, even in the past, they were always kind of like quite a bit... Now, here's the thing, Libra. Do they want you? They do. But they're also a bit bossy, demanding, likes to control things. And there are certain things about them that they could not change. Or they don't want to change and that in itself creates like a lot of anxieties from your side to a point where you're actually we're dealing with quite dark things or dark thoughts in the past it wasn't pretty in the past now in the present moment i feel that you're able to sort out all of your thoughts together and again this is you you think that you're in the right. There is no decisions as of now that you guys are making, whether you want to be with them or you don't want to be with them, whether you want to work on it, whether you don't want to work on it. But you're standing at a place where you're like, I'm in the right. I am the right one. They're in the wrong. They're also like that. Look at this. I am in the right and you are in the wrong. This problem has been burdening them for quite some times. I really want to clarify their prayers and energy because they have the Ten of Wands and also the Justice and Upright Position. There is a bit of a pettiness that I'm seeing here, but we're going to clarify, yeah? In the future, however, you have the Queen of Cups and also the Seven of Cups in reverse from their side. And from your side, you have the Four of Pentacles and also the Six of Pentacles in Upright Position. I feel that in the future, you guys are just going to be deciding to, you know, let's say for instance if you're married to one another okay i'm going to be doing a certain type of active services towards you but i'm not going to be emotionally vulnerable to you or it's okay if we're just talking and i give you a bit of attention but i don't want to make myself vulnerable because i feel that with this person you feel a bit unsafe okay one of the biggest challenges within this connection queen of wands and also the chariot again that ego i would say pride that stubbornness that I am actually in the right and unable to leave things behind in order to move forward into something that is better. So without further ado, Libra, let's get into your reading and let's start clarifying them, okay? <clears throat> 
So I want to clarify that Ten of Wands from their side in the present moment. Ooh, so stubborn. Seriously. Clarify the King of Swords from Libra's side. Oh, from you, this type of behavior, this type of you being stubborn and feeling that you're in the right, it's recent. It's very recent because you feel that, you know, back in the days when I was trying to bring some sort of happiness within this connection, when I was actually committed, when I was actually doing the right stuff, I wasn't, it put me in a bad spot or it put me in a bad place mentally and emotionally, it drained me. Now there needs to be a change because again, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different, re expecting a different result. And you know that if you were to be having the energy that you had in the past, things are not going to change. That's why you're the king of swords right there. Okay, I'm going to freeze my emotions over. I'm going to be as stubborn as they are. I think I'm in the right. Makes sense. Now the ten of wands from their side clarified by the four of pentacles, the king of swords, and also the hermit. The changes in your behavior, the changes in your energy kind of like quite made them a bit flabbergasted. They're now starting to wonder like why, what happened to Libra? Why is there a change? Why are they suddenly turning to be so cold? Why are they now becoming very stingy with their attention, their affection and their energy for me? Okay, let me clarify the um, justice from their side. You see, they do want to make things right with you, but in their own way. You are disappointed by them because it's not the way that you wanted it to be. They see you as their wish fulfillment. They would like to work on this connection. However, it's like they want to work on it in their own way. That's what makes it difficult. And you're here like, no, I want it that way. So it's like you're having two people wanting to go to, let's say, place A, and you're both are debating on which road to take in order for you to get to that place. But the direction is the same. It's just both of you are very stubborn about like which directions, which road to take. How do we do it? Okay, let me clarify that Queen of Cups. Let's get into the future. Clarify the Queen of Cups in that proposition from their side in the future. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Still the same, still the same, still the same, still the same. Stand still. Okay, I want to work on this connection, Libra, and they're going to be communicating it with you. But the way in which they work on their connection is going to be up to them. It's going to be a bit difficult if, let's say, for instance, you are um, at a situation where you're like friends with benefit and you kind of like wants to, you're expecting something more of them. They're like, no, I want to work on it, but let's not be too committed. It's something here about the way in which they do things displeases you. You feel quite dismissed by this person. You feel that this person doesn't see you, doesn't see your desire, doesn't get your emotional needs. You feel taken for granted here. And you're kind of like quite ready to take to cut this person's off. So yeah. Let's clarify the seven of cups in reverse. I feel that you are on your way of checking yourself out emotionally. Clarify the Seven of Cups in reverse. Because some people, they would emotionally check out of the relationship before they physically check out of the relationship. I feel that in the future, you're 
slowly emotionally checking out of the connection clarify the seven of cups in reverse from their side oh but you still love them though you still love them you still have faith that you know what if they could have just given me something that I want. We actually do have what it takes to complement one another. It's not as if like this person is oblivious of what you want. I don't think so. I think they're much more aware of what is it that you are actually expecting of them to do. But there is a fear in him about them. It's a power struggle. So if they give in to your desire, they think that they're giving the power onto you and they don't want to give the power onto you because they don't want to give up control. And here you are. So I do feel that you guys are going to stay connected, but you are emotionally checking out. You won't be as vulnerable as you were before. And they're just like, yeah, I know what Libra actually wants, but I don't know if I truly want to give it to them. Because if I do give it to them, maybe they their heads get too big. Or maybe then I start losing control. I start losing power over this connection. I don't get why people are so concerned over power struggles and stuff like that, to be honest with you. But anyway, let's just pull some advice card for you here, Libra. Two of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and also the Knight of Pentacles in a proposition. One of the reasons why you're having an unwavering devotions and loyalty towards this person, one of the reasons why you're still in this place has a lot to do with you entertaining yourself through your sorrow. You know what I mean? There is still hope here. There is still hope. Now, what you need to understand, Libra, is that you can never, ever rely your happiness upon somebody else. You make yourself happy. You are the one who gets to be in control with your own emotions. One of the reason why you're staying in this place is because you keep on entertaining yourself to be in this place. I'm going to give you an example. You know that, let's say for instance, I'm going to give you an example, okay? You know that you're dealing with somebody who is a walking red flags, or you know that you guys are incompatible with one another, but there is another voice of you due to your feelings who would be like, Nah, actually, you know what? I believe that this person could change or I believe that that person has it in them, but it just hasn't come out yet. You're entertaining your sorrow. You're keeping it there. You're keeping yourself to be in this position. Cut that out. And let's see what you decide next. Because I feel that the only reason why you're staying Still, where you're at right now has a lot to do with you still entertaining the sorrow, okay? So I think that is it for my reading for you here, Libra. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you've been looking for. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week for another weekly reading. All right, bye-bye guys. Have a great day. I love you.